Hello, welcome to this short video where I'll help you understand the term uncertainty as covered in the ISO 31000 standard. My objective is to explain the concept of uncertainty with practical examples so you can gain a better understanding of this key risk management concept. Let's start with the ISO 31000 definition of risk, which defines risk as effect of uncertainty on objectives. In a separate YouTube video, I have covered the ISO 31000 definition of risk with help of a simple example. You can view this video from the link listed on your screen here. For this session, we are going to focus on the effect of uncertainty aspect of the definition. ISO 31000 defines uncertainty as a state, even partial, of deficiency of information related to understanding or knowledge of an event, its consequence or likelihood. As you can see, there are lots of important concepts covered by the definition. So let's try to understand these various concepts with examples. Uncertainty can be of two types. First, when we do not have any information about the future events. And second, when we have partial information about future events. Let's cover the first type with an example. Board members of Bank XYZ may not know that one of its smallest competitor is planning to launch a hostile takeover bid to acquire Bank XYZ. Let's cover one more example. The sales team in firm ABC may not know that one of its biggest client is planning to cancel their contract and move to a competitor. So both of these examples relate to situations where we may be completely unaware of future events. For our risk management programs to be effective, we should try to minimize such type of uncertainties. As per ISO 31000, this can be done by performing a detailed analysis of the internal and external context. Let's now move to the second type of uncertainty, where we have partial information about future events. This is most common type of uncertainties organizations have to cope with. There are multiple variations of this second type of uncertainty. We will cover these variations by understanding the causes, potential events, and consequences. These three aspects are represented by three symbols listed on the screen. Gray color for a symbol represents deficiency or lack of information about that aspect, and blue color for a symbol represents presence of adequate information about that aspect. The meaning of symbols and these colors will apply to all the following examples. So in this first variation, we will cover situation where we do not have adequate information about the causes, but we have adequate information on events and consequences. First example of this variation covers situation where we may know that excessive flooding will result in damage to assets worth $10 million within our factory, but we do not fully understand what could cause the excessive flooding. Second example of this variation covers situation where we may know that a significant financial statement fraud by senior management will result in at least a 90% drop in our share price but we may not know what would cause senior managers to commit such fraud. The next variation covers situations where we do have adequate information about causes and consequences, but we do not have adequate information about events. First example of this variation covers situation where we may know that an expected significant change to government regulation may result in mergers and acquisition within our industry, which will result in loss of more than 5% market share for our organization. But we, do not, but we do not know when these mergers and acquisition events would unfold. Second example of this variation covers situation where we may know that public announcement of a security vulnerability by a software vendor may result in hackers attacking our IT systems to steal customer data to exploit such vulnerabilities. This may result in a $1 million plus regulatory fine for our organization, but we do not know whether and when hackers would attack our IT systems. The next variation covers situation where we do have adequate information about causes and events, 
but we do not have adequate information about consequences. First example of this variation covers situation where we know that government policy change to attract foreign organizations to enter our local market will result in foreign firms entering our local market. But we do not fully understand the consequences of such event on our business objectives. Second example of this variation covers situation where we know that allowing employees to bring their own mobile devices to work will result in hackers exploiting vulnerabilities in such mobile devices to steal valuable corporate information. But we do not fully understand the consequences of such event on our business objectives. The next variation covers situation where we do not have adequate information about causes and events, but we do have adequate information about consequences. Example of this variation covers situation where we know that the financial performance pressure on our competitors may result in a launch of price war by them. We know that this will result in more than 5% loss of market share for our organization, but we do not know which competitors are under financial pressure and when this may result in launch of price war by them. The next variation covers situation where we do have adequate information about causes, but we do not have adequate information about event and consequences. Example of this variation covers situation where we know that due to global warming effects, the average temperature level in a geographic location with key operational facility has increased by 5 degrees Celsius in the last 10 years. However, we do not fully understand what, na what natural disaster events may occur due to this weather change and what the consequences of these events would be on our business objectives. The next variation covers situation where we do have adequate information about the events, but we do not have adequate information about causes and consequences. Example of this variation covers situation where we know that a regulatory agency is conducting a high priority investigation on price fixing within the industry, but we do not know what has triggered this investigation and what could be the consequences of such investigation outcomes on our business objectives. The last variation covers situation where we have adequate information about the cause, event and consequences. In this case, since we have adequate information, there is no uncertainty and hence there are no risks in such situation. Example of this variation covers situation where we know that within seven days of announcing a price reduction on certain products, our key retail competitor will announce a similar price reduction. So we will only benefit from our price reduction initiative for maximum of seven days. On this screen, I have consolidated all the variations of uncertainties related to partial information covered in this video. This brings us to the end of this session. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. Please do provide your feedback in the comments area. If you would like to see additional risk management related definitions covered with examples, please share these in the comments area. Goodbye.